what's up my brown sugars welcome back to my channel and if you click this video then you already know what we're gonna talk about so let's talk about it actually in this video we are not even gonna be talking that much you guys are gonna see exactly how to remove surgical staples and sutures so if you guys have any questions please leave a comment down below your girl got you I'll answer it I got you I hope you guys love this video and I'll see you in my next one bye I don't need respect, I'm the threat Tell him I'm so free, I got no chains on me I'm so free, I got no chains on me Oh, this one doubled up, so close You do every other You should do every other oh, Why did you tell me that when you told me to do that? Like, <laughs> this is the bottom This is the top So you put the bottom prongs You put the bottom prongs Underneath, I'll just use this one. Underneath like this, and you push. Try and have it in the middle and steady, and it'll open up. Hmm. Yes, I was the staple queen, honey. Yeah. Now, before you do this, this is the, oops. Wait, are you still recording? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> this, no. This is the staple mover kit, and you want to use the, it comes with a gauze to help wipe any blood, but you want to use the, that came in this way. They have betadine swipe, uh, so, oh, oh. Um, wipes, and you want to clean that off, the incision. Don't touch it. Yeah to clean the area mm -hmm. with data and then use this gotcha. make sure you count the staples and count how many you've taken out the sutures is easy you use these or you can use the hemostats i've used the hemostats oh, okay. you can use this to pick up the suture and then cut underneath or you can use the hemostat to hold the tail and use your scissors <laughs> to get underneath this hole like that. So these are scissors, female stats, and tweezers. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yes, yeah. it is. 